Hi, welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today, we are going to be painting this desert sun. Super warm painting. And I will probably be tweaking it a little bit because I absolutely love it the way that it is, but I thought a mountain would be super cute. So I figured I've been asked a lot about portrait, or I mean doing landscaping, so I figured we could bring some in in the new year. We also added some cute little stars up here to make it look like the sun is, um, or that the, the darkness is coming in, sorry. <laughs> All right, so here is our paint palette today. We have lots of great colors, lots of great sunset colors. We have yellow, bright red, orange, phthalo blue, purple, black, and white. We also have an array of brushes today because I thought, well, let's just grab a bunch and see which ones we're going to go with. <laughs> so of course we have our Big Daddy brush because this one we have to use all the time. This one fills the whole canvas. We scoop up all the paint with it and make all of our painting come to life on this, the background, okay? So then we have all of these other little ones here. I figured we'd grab this cute little angled one to kind of go around the sun a little bit. We got a nice little pointed one to play with the cactuses. Here's this little tiny baby one to do some of the lighter cactuses in the back. And then this cute little guy for the birds. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna grab this big daddy, dry him off on your paper towel there. What I want you to start with is some of this yellow. You can grab a tiny little bit of white and pull it over to the yellow. It's just gonna make it a little bit more vibrant. I want you to pick where your sun is gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here more because my sun is setting. And here's a little magic trick that I learned from my high school teacher, art teacher, is go in a circular motion. And when you feel like you have a good circle going, then you can touch your canvas or your paper, whatever you're making a circle on, and you're gonna get a perfect circle every time. Now I am painting at an angle, so I'm not gonna get a perfect circle every time, but what I can do is come in here like this and make it a perfect circle. Perfect. Okay. See our perfect little circle? It's probably hard to see with the um, yellow and the white. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some more white. I'm going to bring it over to this orange here, and I'm going to make a lighter orange. I'm going to come in, go right around there, okay? I know it's going to kind of look like a bullseye for right now, but we're just going to feather it real lightly in right around the edge of the sun. Don't go into the sun. Just go around it and see how I'm not lifting my brush. Continuing to go all the way around feathering it out a little bit, making that little glow. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that. Just grab a little bit more white. You can even grab a little bit of red in this time. A little bit more white over here. And don't be afraid to mix up the paint and get a little bit messy on your palette here. Okay. We want it to have all of these different colors. Don't be afraid to go into the other little moon or sun rays either. We want it, these to all kind of blend together. So we actually, I need you to be a little bit messy around this. Don't go with the straight. See how I'm bringing it back down into this lighter yellow? Don't just go straight across straight around it like a, there we go. There it is. Canvases are pretty dry today. This one is. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit. Sometimes it, that's all it needs is just a little bit of water. Sometimes the canvases get a little bit wet or get a little bit over dry, especially with the heat on in the studio and stuff, so. Just wet it a little bit and look at how perfect it's coming out. Kind of looks like a giant egg or a giant gobstopper. That's what it looks like. 
All right, so I'm gonna grab some of this white now and I'm actually going to bring it into the red and I'm gonna make a pink. I love pink in a sunset. I think when you add the pink to the sunset, it just adds just a beautiful, beautiful color. With that pink and orange, it's perfect. Keep grabbing it and just keep painting. Now I figured I'd do this on the big canvas because when I did on that one, it took me about eight minutes. So I was like, well, let's just bring a big canvas today. Plus, I really love this painting. I love how the colors run together. Don't forget about your sides like I just almost did. I really haven't got to them yet, so. But I just, I just love this painting. And with it being a little bit chilly outside for January, it's like 40 degrees here which is unseasonably, this is weird. I'm just gonna grab some white and some yellow and throw it in here too. Just kind of dusting it like I'm, like I'm just trying to wipe some crumbs off of a counter just real quick, just, you know, just brush it real fast. I know I, my analogies are kind of silly, but <laughs> they work. All right, mix, 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 paint, mix, paint, mix, paint. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna grab some straight red. Let's grab some straight red and start to come in here. Just keep going all the way down. Grab some red and throw it down here too. Perfect, now for those of you following along at home, you know, we absolutely love when you share these with us, so make sure you send pictures and let us see your progress in your paintings. They make us happy. They just really make our day. They make my day, really. I just, every time I see someone post about them when they're painting and then they send them to me or whatever, I seriously just want to cry. <laughs> they make me so happy. All right, so I know down here is gonna be black, so I don't need to come in all the way, but I do wanna make sure I go down far enough to where if I happen to not cover it up, then it's okay, it'll be covered up with the, with the sunset area. All right, up here now, purple. Let's grab some purple. Be very careful with the purple when you're going into the, um, with the orange, because anytime you mix purple and orange, that is going to create mud. So I do have a little tiny bit of phthalo blue. I don't wanna add a ton though. I did on there and I didn't like it, so I was very cautious about adding too much. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit. More purple than blue. Oh, there's a little bit more blue on this side, but that's okay. When your easel's taller than you. We got this. Look at that, perfect. And look at how pretty that purple blends into that red. I mean, just beautiful. You can add some, just clean off whatever's on your brush over here. You can even pull some of that down here. And that's okay too. Be real careful with the orange though and the purple. See how it got a little bit muddy right there? That's why you gotta be real, real careful. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of blue and throw it in over here. Too much blue. Oh well. It'll still be beautiful. Let's see if we got all the way up here. Okay, good. Perfect, just keep going back and forth. Oh, look at that, we pulled a little bit of yellow. All right, look at how pretty this looks. Let's see if we got this whole side. We did not, <laughs> look at that. Every time, I'm so good at that, just not even painting the side. It's okay. It's all good, all good, okay. 
Let's rinse this brush and then we're going to grab some black and we're going to put it at the bottom. Rinse all that yuck off that brush. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of a purple mountain. So I'm going to take a tiny little bit of black just to darken up some of this purple. You can even grab a little bit of white, kind of throw it in the purple with it, make it almost like a gray purple. And I am just going to add a mountain here. I'm hoping that this is dry enough. So it is not dry enough, but we are going to still add it and we'll just go back over in a minute. Okay? No biggie. I'm going to let this dry. So I like to go the way of the mountain. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to come down this way. Okay? I know it looks a little. I'm going to come this way and this way. Okay. I'm going to let this dry a second. I'm just going to take this straight black down here. And I'm going to add the ground in just because I want to get that base on there. And I'm going to make that a little bit like wavy too. Because the ground is not, I don't need it flat, you know. I don't want to make it too crazy flat. I'm going to put this to the side like this because I'm going to hit this bottom. Make sure we get that all painted up. Then we got to let this thing dry. So for you at home, you know, you get to hang out. and Let's add a little bit more to this mountain here. We'll clean it up in a minute. Oh my gosh, I love it so far. <coughs> keep building. Keep playing with it. It'll be perfect in every way. Do, do, do. Maybe we should pull this. Let's pull this all the way this way. Here we go. And then we got to let this guy dry as I keep playing with it. This is where all of you need to say, Sherry, stop touching it. <laughs> Sherry, stop. Let's let this dry. All right. I did find the little fan that we were using um, a few months ago. So I did find that, but I didn't bring it with me. I think I will have to start bringing it with me again. It's drying pretty fast though. And then you can just sing a song now, like the let it dry song. <laughs> or you can go let your dog out, make a cup of coffee, get a little snack. I know everyone's doing their little New Year's resolutions right now, so grab a healthy snack. All right, do you guys hear that in the mic? I don't know if you can, but it's like wavy. Perfect, it's drying so nicely. And I'm pulling paint off of it. Whoops, that's okay. We'll fix it. There's always fixable anything. All right, let's go a little faster. It'll look like you're fast forwarding the show. Like, do 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 do. We could talk like we're fast forwarding too. I know a lot of kids don't even know what that means. But when we used to have to fast forward like through tapes, videotapes that used to make the little super fast noises. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Oh, I love it. It's drying so nicely and perfect. Couple seconds, couple more seconds. We got this. Okay, perfect. Oops, see where I pulled the paint off? That's okay though. Let's just grab this brush one more time. Let's dry it off. Let's just pull some more paint right up here. Might need a little bit more blue. There we go. 
I mean, of course, when I do this in, in the studio, that's not how it happens. But sometimes it happens like that. Let's grab another little brush. We're going to grab the second to medium size brush here. Just because I want to come in to these mountains with some more purple. And I want to have control, a little bit more control over my brush. I'm just grabbing the smaller brush here. It's so pretty. You can even grab a tiny little bit of black and just throw a little bit of black accent in there. Not too much. I'm going to go out like this, out like this. Not too much. Perfect. Hit your side. And here's another mountain right here. We'll bring this one down here. This one back here will make this one perfect. Just like that. Just like that. Kind of play around with your mountains. If you aren't loving them, it's okay. You don't have to. You can kind of add some black to them, and that'll just add a little bit of, like, deeper shadow to them. So that way you can't see them as well. It'll look more of like, um, what do they call that? Like the shadow look. Add some purple there. Add this here. Bring this down here. We'll go a little bit darker towards the end. A little bit more black. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. I am loving it. Let's take a tiny little bit of white. Let me see what happens when we add just a little bit of white to this. We'll add some purple on top of it too. Just to kind of soften up these mountains a little bit. So when we add our cactus on, you know, they're more of like a lighter purple mountain. And we'll be able to see our cactus a little bit better. Okay. We'll go back over it again with some purple. Oh my gosh, I love it. Who isn't loving this? Maybe I should go up a little higher with this. No? All right. How's this looking? I should probably take a step back and look. <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. Don't be afraid to be a little shaky handed too because mountains aren't flat. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a step back, put my brush down, and I'm going to step back and take a look at this. Okay, perfect. So my one mountain is a little bit crooked, this one right here, but that's okay. I was going in at an angle. <laughs> but when you are at home and you are painting, yours will not be crooked, I promise. <laughs> Mine is because I paint at an angle like this. Okay, so we're going to take this little round brush here. We're going to run it through this black and let's start putting these cactuses on. All right. So we're going to come from the ground, not the mountain, because our cactuses are not growing out of the mountain. Our cactuses are growing out of the ground, okay? Cactuses are just like trees. They get a little bit thicker towards the end. They have a round top here. That's the only difference. And so easy. See how easy that is? So, so easy. So let's do a really big one over here, okay? I want to go almost to the top. On that one, I did go to the top, but I don't think I want to do that on this one. I think I just want to go halfway, or more than halfway, actually. We want to make it look like these mountains are way back there. 
This is our main cactus here, this big guy. Perfect. Let's do another little trunk guy right here. And how about one right here? It's almost like cursive writing. You're just coming in, going down like this. Just always keep your brush on there when you're trying. Whoa, that was a lot of paint there. Perfect. Let's do a couple more small ones over here. This is getting a little, little thick, little bit thick. That's okay. Perfect. Do just a couple real light lighter ones make it look like they're kind of off into the distance i don't even know if you could see those honestly they're so light see how light those are they're really really tiny and really really faded so you can also just add like a couple little ones over here that one was a big one, but that's okay. We're going to switch that up. Add a little, little tiny one right here. These are so cute. So on here, I did add a couple <coughs> shrubs because there are those like little cactuses that have the flowers on them. And I thought that that would be a great little way to break up some of the stuff down at the bottom. So we are going to do that in a minute. So just be ready to see that perfect way we do that. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And again, you can just add a couple little real light ones that you don't even, just even, just a little shadow is fine. Ooh, we just messed up our mountain because that guy's not dry. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab the smaller brush now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this red, it's like a little bit of red mixed with some uh, orange. And I'm just going to add a little bit through here. You see where it just kind of breaks up the ground a little bit. Adds a little bit of fun to the painting, okay? See that? Just breaks it up just a little bit. That's all we need. We're going to take this brush too. And we're going to grab some of this black. Birds are super easy. This has a lot of water on it. Birds are super easy. If you want to put them on, let's just do one line like this. Okay. And then it is a little tiny up, up. And then go like that. Okay. You can even go swoop these down a little bit. Okay, these are like vultures, right? Is that what's in the desert, vultures? Let's do that. And then what I did here, because I wanted to make it look like more of like darkness was coming in or, or nighttime was coming in. You don't have to do this, but I did. I just added a couple little tiny stars. You know how you see those where like the sun is just setting but the stars are trying to peek out, trying to pull through some of that. So this is a really super easy, fun painting. I'm going to add a couple more little lighter cactuses through here. I know I have a lot. You know what I did? You know what I did on that one that I didn't do on this one? I pulled some of those trees up. So let me grab some more of that yellow or I mean orange uh, mix there. And I'm just going to pull some of this up here. Make it look like there's a tree over here. Maybe the sunlight is hitting it. It's kind of making it look like it's on fire in the desert. 
pull some of this through here a little bit. Can even grab some black, straight black, and just dab a little bit just to give your ground a little bit of like bush looking. Kind of break it up from the mountain. Perfect. All right. So I love it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is, since we are all super, super awesome, amazing artists, because any creation is the best creation, we're going to take our little, little tiny brush. We are going to dip it in our white, and then we're going to own our painting. Okay, so what I want you to do is make it unique with your own special signature just at the very bottom here. And voila, owned, finished, and I cannot wait to see your creation. So make sure you send them to us, and we hope you enjoyed our painting.